All right, so we're continuing with the second uh, part, third part, fourth part. I'm not even sure what part of the video series we're on. Um, but in the last one, I talked about love and the merge, the honeymoon effect, uh, really the infatuation stage of a relationship uh, or dating, you know. Um, so now this is one of the biggest ones. And honestly, this this has been the hardest thing for me to understand. This has been one of the most difficult lessons I've learned in life. And um, I want to share with you guys. So uh, we're talking about the falling out of love. Uh, and this is described in other uh, videos, you know, once we start talking more about the other love stages. But um, it, it's difficult because a lot of relationships go through this stage. Um, you know, I, I've noticed a lot of guys and girls, it's, it's very equal. It's just one of those things that just happen to everyone. So, um, so it's falling out of love right? Um, or you're not happy with your partner anymore. And, um, this usually happens further down in the, in the love cycle. Um, so the video after this is not going to be describing this. So you'll probably have to wait till like the eighth or ninth video to finally kind of get your head around this concept. But the idea is that, you know, you're, you were in this infatuation stage, right? You know, everything that person said was great and everything else was awesome. But then uh, you realize you don't love this person anymore or you're not happy anymore. Or you may say the classic, I don't know what I want, right? And um, really, when somebody says that, right, when somebody says they don't know what they want, it either means two things. It means that they have someone else lined up, uh, you know, that they're interested in or that they don't think the relationship is going to work out. You know, and, um, you know, it, it, people do know what they want. I mean, you know, you know if you want to be in a relationship with that person or not. So when somebody says they don't know, um, take it as a no, truly take it as a no. So why do people fall out of love? Well, there's a lot of different reasons. Um, but I, I think the main problem is that people continue to push this idea that love is a feeling, Right. Love is a feeling. And I, I, you know, I got this lesson from Elliot Hulse, right? Let's say you're starting a new sport or new activity. Let's say you're getting into basketball again, or, or maybe you like to draw or whatever. You love doing these activities. And by love, I mean the actual literal definition, you know, you're, you're experiencing the merge with these activities. Okay. You're, you, you just love doing them. You just like, you know, um, just, you know, love playing basketball every day, love, um, love, uh, drawing, love, whatever it is. And so you, you do those all the time and you're doing it for a good two months. And then you realize, you know what? I don't really like this anymore. I don't like playing basketball anymore. I don't feel like doing this. And, um, the problem is when people start getting like that, you, you know, you reach a point and this is further down in the love cycle, but you reach a point where you have to make a decision you don't want to do this anymore. Um, but you have to ask yourself why you, you know, you really initially loved doing it and now you don't. And you have to ask yourself why are there legitimate reasons why you don't love it? Or is it just because you don't feel it anymore? And if the, it's the latter, you don't feel it anymore. The biggest thing is you have to complete the circle. Okay. And what I mean by that is you have to go through those tough times. You have to stay committed um, and you have to, you know, so you may not feel like playing basketball or drawing or whatever, but you have to keep doing it, you know, and to, to remind yourself, remind yourself of why you fell in love with it in the first place. Remind yourself of that happiness. And I promise you, I promise you, if you do it and you go full circle with it and everything else, you will fall in love with that sport again. You will fall in love with that activity again. And it's the same thing in relationships. I think a lot of people give up. You know, they, they give up. They they check out. They're not experiencing the same happiness anymore. They're not experiencing the same feeling anymore. And um, rather than working on it, rather than asking themselves why, they simply just check out. And the thing is, 
Falling out of love is a natural reaction. It happens. I mean, after the infatuation stage, you're not going to love it as much as you did. And it can get worse and worse, and it will get worse and worse, and you'll you'll wonder why you're in this relationship at all. Um, but really, you have to ask yourself, even before you get into the relationship, what is this person going to do to help me, Right. It sounds like a selfish thing, but really, what is this person going to do to help me? What is this person going to do to help me become the best version of myself? Like, how can they actually enhance my life? And if you saw a reason for that before, uh, you know, you, you, you found out that they actually can enhance your life, then giving up on it is, is not the right way to go. I'm not saying put yourself in a bad situation. I'm not saying, you know, go, you know bored up with somebody who hurts you or abuses you or anything like that. But I'm saying most people give up on love because they don't feel it anymore. They don't feel that, that level of attraction or happiness or sexual excitement or any of that sort of thing again. And I'm telling you, if you continue it full circle, you stick with it, you can have that love again. Um, it, it's a skill set. It's, 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 you constantly have to continue to do things to, uh, prevent the breakdown of your marriage or your relationship and you have to continue working on these things and if they're not uh, continually worked on then the relationship will fail um, so realize that falling out of love is a natural process it's going to happen uh, no matter what and it's up to that particular individual or both uh, to decide you know, where are they going to go with this? All right. So you fill out a love. What what are we going to do about this? Uh, am I going to leave the relationship and start it with somebody else? Am I going to continue to work on this? Am I going to figure out, you know, am I going to continue to build myself and uh, push this relationship forward? Now, for me, I was in a situation where I was dating a girl for a year and uh, everything seemed great. So it could have been the infatuation stage, but I, I think we went through the whole love cycle thing. And um, she started spending more time around with this coworker, and um, I started degenerating as, as as a person myself, right? Normally, I mean, initially I was, I was, uh, I was a laid back dude. I was kind of, you know, chill about everything. And, um, and I don't know, something about her hanging out with this guy was changing me as a person, you know, I was, I was kind of letting it get to me. And after a month, she decided, you know what, she wasn't in love with me anymore. And not necessarily that she was in love with this guy, but that she had feelings for him. And those feelings, I would say nine out of 10 times, just even looking back on it, were infatuation, right? You don't, you may not even know a lot about a person, but you're just already infatuated and you're pursuing a feeling. So, um, you know, that person makes you happy or smile, or, you know, whatever. And those, again, are bad premises to go on for a relationship. Um, and she ended up getting with this guy and everything else. Uh, so, you know, and I was doing all the wrong things, analyzing it. Well, why didn't she love me anymore? That sort of thing. And again, it may not be that you changed as a person. It may be. Um, but... In those sort of situations, the best thing you can do is love yourself. Honestly, it's it's you got to direct your energy inward. When somebody decides that they're not in love with you anymore and they're not willing to complete the circle and keep going forward, you need to turn that direction towards yourself. Um, because unfortunately, a lot of times people lose themselves in their relationships and they don't, they don't, they don't nurture themselves they don't take care of their needs and when that happens you lose your sense of self and oftentimes people just start falling out of love for that very reason that we're not the same people anymore that they fell in love with because we got so invested in that relationship and when we essentially became a different person so that's my idea on this whole thing is that you know falling out of love is going to happen at any time and it's a natural process. Um, but it's how you decide to react to it that's the most important thing. Keeping in mind that love is not a feeling. Love is a choice. Um, 
Freedom trumps love, right? The freedom of choice trumps love. Keeping all those things in the back of your mind will help you in the long run uh, and maintaining a long-term relationship. Um, there have been some several things that I've read, um, some shallow, some other stuff, but that can really make sure a relationship stays together for the long term. Uh, and it's, it's certain key areas that you want to take a look at if you're looking to be in a relationship for a long time and have something serious with somebody, or maybe you're looking to maintain your marriage or those sort of things, there are certain things you can prevent or look at before it gets into a state of what the fuck, this person doesn't love me anymore. So that's it guys. This is the video for this one, uh, for, uh, for this half. And the second, next video, keep saying second, next video, we're going to talk about the second stage of the love cycle, which is uh, doubt, denial. You start kind of understanding the person a little differently. You know, they're not, it's not all rainbows and sunshines anymore. So, uh, so that's the end of this video. And uh, let's keep this going, man. Hopefully, like I said, helps out somebody, man. See ya.